And we welcome you live here to the Brevard Sports Network, live from Vieira High School for game number two of tonight's Brevard Sports Network volleyball doubleheader sponsored by Martinez Construction and Beachway Volleyball Club. I'm Jackson Robb, and I'm, and I'm here to bring you the call between the Vieira Hawks and the Bayside Bears, game number one of the 2024 regular season for both of these programs. And this one should be a great matchup to kick off the season for both these teams. We'll start with... The home team here, the Vieira Hawks for Vieira, coming off a state runner-up season in which they fell in the state championship game to St. Thomas. For the Hawks, though, they lose nine seniors from that team, but do not think that that means the end of the Hawks for now, as we saw them last week in the preseason classic at Merritt Island play exceptionally well. They took a set off a satellite in a back-and-forth game, but where the where their biggest performance was, was a set one win over the Merritt Island Mustangs, who are currently playing right now on the Brevard Sports Network as they face off against Merritt Island. Christian Allen Zarzinski on that call. That game started about an hour ago. We are slated for the first serve in about three minutes in this one. But so, Fiera, not as experienced as past years, but definitely still a lot of talent. The biggest thing to note from that preseason tournament, though, for Fiera is junior Victoria Chen tore her ACL. She is... Uh, not going to be active tonight as she obviously tearing her ACL, not able to play for the Hawks tonight. When you turn over to the other side of the court with the Bayside Bears, now Bayside's been a program that's been growing the last few years under head coach Nicole Hunt, but this is the season for Bayside, I think, to truly break out the talent they have on this roster, anchored by two D1 commits with Jasmine Colton going to Presbyterian and Jenna Walters going to Missouri State. On top of that, they just have some of the most, one of the most experienced rosters in Brevard County and some of the best players in Brevard. But if you look at this matchup all time, it's been all Vieira all the time as they are 15-0 and versus Bayside. So the Bears look for their first ever win versus Vieira here on the volleyball court. But I would say that this is possibly their best chance that they've had uh, here just with the experience on their team. As we run down these rosters, for Vieira, number one, Leah Fox. Number two, again, inactive tonight, Victoria Chen. Number three is Brooke Pickle. Number four is Olivia Sosa. Number six is Ella Brand. Number seven is Brennan Turner. Number eight is Haley Beak. Number nine is Shaley Reggett. Number 10 is Kendall Pierce. Number 11, Haley Christensen. Number 12, Taylor Christensen. Number 13 is Allie Brown. And number 14 is Lily Lorca Lloyd. The Hawks are led by head coach Sarah Wayne in her 19th season. And her assistant coaches, Lana Andrews, Eric Murray, and Ashlyn Sonseri with statistician Joe Kemmer as well on that coaching staff. Last season, Vieira was 27-5, and winning 76 sets and only losing 20. Uh, for Coach Sarah Wayne in her career, 291 career wins, creeping up on win 300, coming up early on in this season, assumedly. Uh, her playoff record, 11-9, with three Final Fours and state runner-ups the last two years. Obviously, the Hawks itching to get back to that state championship game. Now, although I don't know if that'll be this season for them, this is a team, especially with their youth and the talent they already have, this is a team building for the future of Vieira, but already in a win-now mentality. Moving over to Bayside, number one is Bella Sams, number two, Madison Hamilton, number three, Peyton Carter, number four, Addison Carter, number five. Coming over from Calvary Chapel, it's Ainsley Shack, number six, Amber Waskowitz, number seven, Ashley Waskowitz, number eight is Kaylee McLean, number nine is Jayla Lee, number 10, Jenna Walters, number 11, Camille Moeller, Number 12, Janae McLinn. Number 13, Haley Hackett. Number 14, Jasmine Colton. And number 15, Shamora Scott, led by head coach Nicole Hunt in her 10th season at the helm. Um, under Coach Hunt, they're 76 and 126. Last season, they were 12 and 12. But again, I think this is possibly the best team Coach Hunt has had in her coaching career. And I'm interested to see Bayside for the first time this season. Got a chance to see Satellite. Got a chance to see Merritt Island. Got a chance to see Vieira, Holy Trinity, O'Galley, Brevard Heat, and Space Coast all of last week in that great, those two great preseason tournaments. But for the first time here on the network, this season at least, we get to see the Bayside Bears. Now we'll get set for player introductions, and it's going to be interesting here. The most notable returning player for Vieira is going to be Haley Beak, and we'll see how she can lead this team and Vieira this season starting tonight here. And this is a statement matchup to start the season for both of these programs as it's not going to be an easy win for either of these squads, and we'll see 
how this one goes. If one team can you know, take the lead early, take a set or two out of the gates, or if this one's back and forth. As we get set for the National Anthem, and we'll be back in just a moment. As we welcome you back here to this one. Crowd pretty split. Vieira obviously with a lot of fans here for the home contest. But Bayside brings a nice crowd here up north to Vieira for this one. And, and rightfully so. Again, big match and the first match of the regular season for both these programs. And these early season games are going to be ones where we can kind of get a feel for these teams. Again, for Vieira, besides that preseason tournament still for most of these girls, it's their first time playing together. And uh, we're going to look to see that chemistry grow throughout the game um, itself and throughout the early regular season. And for Bayside, I mean, this is a team looking to show off their talents early on in the year, especially in this game versus Vieira. A team, again, 15-0 and this series in favor of Vieira all time. And so for Bayside, you know they're going to be looking to pick up a win over the Hawks here in this one. This season, 6A District 8, both these teams reside as or sorry just Vieira is in 6a district 8 uh, along with Bayside Melbourne Heritage Martin County Dwyer Sebastian River and South Fork so this is going to be a district game to start out the season as well for both these teams and even more of a reason to pick up a big win here on opening night But again, as we mentioned for Vieira, they lose nine players from last year's team, seventh to graduation, one to concentrate on softball, and one of them to concentrate on beach volleyball. I mean, you run down the roster, Leah Fox is a senior, Brooke Pickles a sophomore, Olivia Sosa a freshman, Ella Brands a junior, Brennan Turner's a junior, Haley Beak is going to be the impact senior returning to this team, Shaley Reggett is a sophomore, Kendall Pierce is a senior, Haley Christensen's a sophomore. Taylor Christensen's a senior. Allie Brown's a sophomore. And Lily Lorca Lloyd is a freshman for Vieira. So they still do have, you know, some upperclassmen on this roster. But when we talk about the youth on this roster, it's more referring to their experience on this team. Haley Beak, I think the only returning varsity player to Vieira. So although there are other seniors and juniors on this roster, they didn't play varsity for Vieira last year. So that's more of where where you're looking at here for the youth on this team. I mean, for Bayside, they have a lot of youth still as well. Madison Hamilton, a freshman. Peyton Carter, a sophomore. Ainsley Shack, a sophomore. Amber Waskowitz, a senior. Ashley Waskowitz, a senior. Kaylee McLean, a senior. Jayla Lee, a senior. Jenna Walters, a senior. Camille Moeller, a junior. Janae McLean, a junior. Haley Hackett's a junior. Jasmine Colton's a senior. And Shamora Scott's a junior. So again, you look at Bayside almost like a Vieira from last year, the way that team has built with a lot of seniors and a lot of juniors and a lot of upperclassmen. So for Bayside, you start to get that feeling that, you know, this is your year uh, to break out and go deep in the playoffs. And it all starts here for both these programs this season. As it's the Vieira Hawks and the Bayside Bears here 
on the Brevard Sports Network. Again, going on up in Merritt Island, the battle for the island, Merritt Island and Merritt Island Christian Volleyball. Alan Zodrzynski selling the call there, but that game started at 6.30. I know Merritt Island is up two sets to zero currently uh, when this game or this broadcast got started over Merritt Island Christian. But I know set number two was close. Merritt Island Christian led a lot of it, but Merritt Island came out in the end with a win. For Vieira in that preseason showdown at Merritt Island, they went one and two, losing in set three to Satellite. Also lost in set three to Merritt Island after taking set one. So two tough losses in three sets in that preseason showcase for Vieira. And we'll see how they look tonight against Bayside, another top-tier opponent here in Brevard County that the Hawks are facing. Again, for Bayside, I did not see a preseason tournament for them if they played one. Would love to know how that went, but could not find results from one. As we get set to go here from Vieira High School, starting on the floor for the Hawks is going to be Leah Fox, Olivia Sosa, Allie Brown, Haley Beak, Shaley Reggett and Brooke Pickle for Bayside. It is going to be Haley Hackett, Jasmine Colton, Ainsley Shack, Jenna Walters, Madison Hamilton, and Camille Moeller. Moeller back at the service line to get us started here from Vieira. And to get the regular season started here in Brevard County Volleyball as Moeller will serve it up and we're underway. One received by Beak set up to the net. Kill attempt blocked up front. Straight back down by the Presbyterian commit Jasmine Colton. And it's 1-0 Bayside just like that. As Colton stonewalls the kill attempt there for the first point of the match. It's 1-2-0. Back to serve again for Bayside is Camille Moeller. Moeller brings the serve now for Bayside. That one going deeper off the hands of Beak. That's an ace for Moeller. And it is 2-0 Bayside to start this one. Back to serve again as Moeller following the ace. Nice start for Bayside early. 2-0 for the Bears. Moeller serve going deep again. Received there by Fox. Set backside. Tipped over by Pickle. Now Bayside shot to return it. It's Ainsley Shack sending it deep. Fox is there. Bump set. And the kill attempt by Pickle. Tipped to the net. Shack pops it up. Set back. Kill attempt into the net there for Jenna Walters to start. And it's 2-1 as Vieira gets on the board there. Checking in for the Hawks is going to be Ella Brand. Brand back to serve for Vieira now. Hawks trail by one early. That one gets over off of Madison Hamilton. That's an ace the other way now, and it's 2-2. Just as quick as it was 2-0 as the Hawks respond nicely with an ace of their own. And Ella Brand will stay at the service line for the Hawks. And a tie game. Ella Brand to serve again. Dug out of bounds again, going right at Madison Hamilton. Back-to-back -back aces for Brand, and Vieira takes the lead 3-2. to two. As they attack Hamilton in back-to-back -back serves. Hamilton, a freshman here for Bayside, and you can see Vieira's kind of figured out where they want to serve, and hitting the spot consistently here has been Ella Brand. Back-to-back -back aces for Vieira. They lead it 3-2. Brand goes short this time. Base side set far side. Kill attempt going deep. Vieira can't return it. And that's a kill for Haley Hackett as base side ties it up 3-3. Three three. And you know, base side there gets a shot. They receive the serve. Set it up perfectly for the kill. And a nice finish by Hackett at the net. Back to serve for the first time in the base side colors. It's Ainsley Shack coming over from Calvary Chapel. Set cross court, run up, kill attempt, tipped to the net, and it drops for the kill for Taylor Christensen. And it's 4-3, Vieira taking the lead back, heading back to serve for the first time herself in a regular season Vieira uniform. It's Olivia Sosa, the freshman from Vieira Charter, who played for the USA Select Volleyball team this past summer. And Sosa drops in the serve. 
Nice receive, set, base side, kill attempt to the net, tipped up, Sosa keeps it alive, backside, set, beak, blocked! But the point's going to be to Vieira, that one blocked out of bounds by Walters. Good play at the net, but it doesn't stay in bounds, it's 5-3. Vieira with the lead, Olivia Sosa to serve once again. Sosa brings the serve, received by Hamilton. Set up ahead, Shaq sends it deep, it drops just out of bounds there, misses the back corner ever so slightly. And it's 6-3 Vieira on a 3-0 run here at the service line with Olivia Sosa. Keeping it going. Sosa to serve, just clips the tape, base side. Wasn't ready for it. That drops for an ace for Sosa. Four unanswered points now for Vieira. It's 7-3 Hawks. Now, just drawing from the preseason tournament, I think the biggest key for the Hawks tonight is going to be finishing out sets and finishing out matches. I mean, they went 1-0 to start against Merritt Island, lost the next two, and then versus Satellite, they went 1-1 one one in the third set after beating Satellite by 12 in set two, ended up losing a third set to 15 by 12. So they got to finish out strong in these matches. And uh, we'll see if they can do that tonight. As a point there goes back to Bayside as the serve sails long. 7-4 now the lead for the Hawks. Back to serve for Bayside is Jasmine Galton. Galton holds a lot of the Bayside records for plenty of stats. We'll run over those when we get a break in the action. That one served out to Christensen, set up by Vieira. Taylor Christensen, kill attempt. Sails long. Good eye for the Bayside Bears to let that one sail. 7-5 now Vieira's lead as Colton will head back to the service line for Bayside. And Jasmine Colton will serve it up now for Bayside. Serve received there by Brand. Set kill attempt by Christensen. Dug out by Shaq. Low set kill right off of Sosa. Bringing the power there was Janae McClinn. As a very low set there. Allowing for just a direct kill there. No arc on that one. Straight down at Sosa. It's 7-6 now. Vieira lead down to one on a 3-0 run by Bayside. Anchored by Jasmine Colton at the service line. Serve received up by the net. Free ball off the tape. Vieira keeps it alive. Sosa sends it over on the third. Touch. Shaq pops it up now the other way. Colton gets it over with a bump. Now set for Vieira. Beak plays it down the line into empty space. Bayside fills the space. Now deep shot by Shaq. Received by Vieira again. These teams begin to rally. Christensen sends it too deep. But it was tipped by Bayside. 8-6 eight, eight, the lead now for Vieira. Off that one back to serve for the Hawks is going to be Haley Beak. As Beak brings the service here. And that is long. Bayside gets a point back. It's 8-7 to seven now. Checking in for the Bears is going to be Addison Carter along with Jayla Lee. As they check in for Camille Moeller and Haley Hackett back to serve for Bayside is Addison Carter. Awkward receive there by Brennan Turner and we're tied at eight. As the Bears have rallied back, although their scoring run was broken by the Hawks, Bears pick up right where they left off and tie the game. Addison Carter serve, received. Quick set, Brennan Turner blocked up front. By Bayside, now Vieira gets it back over. Carter set, kill attempt there. Played by Beak, far side cross, blocked up front. By Lee and McClinn, Sosa arcs it over. Regardless, bump set, run up. And there's a kill for Jayla Lee, and Bayside takes the lead back. It's 9-8 Bears. Still at the service line for Bayside, Addison Carter. It's a 3-0 scoring run again for Bayside as they have taken the lead back. Carter, serve dropped in, received by Sosa. Set up by the net, far side Christensen drops it in. 
Awkward receive there by Shaq. Bella Sams gets under it. It's sent over, but too far out for Jenna Walters. And we're tied back up at nine. Checking in the game now for Vieira. It is going to be Brooke Pickle as well as Leah Fox. As heading back to the bench will be Ella Brand and Taylor Christensen. Back to serve now for Vieira is the senior Leah Fox for the first time tonight. Fox serve. Received by Sams. Bump set up ahead. The kill attempt. Big power. Vieira chance to play it. Beat can't track it down in the air. It's 10-9. Bayside takes the lead back. Jay Lee with the kill. Back to serve again for Bayside now. Jenna Walters. Bears lead by one. Walters drops it in. Received by Beat. Quick set. Brennan Turner sends it out. Bayside extends their lead 11-9. Remember at one point, Vieira led by four early on, but this game has continued to sway back and forth. Bayside now with a two-point lead, 11-9. Walters clips the tape. Nice dig by Fox. Vieira keeps it alive. Brennan Turner gets it over. Backside set. Sent over by Jayla Lee. Set far side. Pickle blocked. And a big time block by Janae McClinn and Jayla Lee up front for Bayside. The Bears lead by three as McClinn and Lee have been big at the net early for Bayside. And the Bears lead by three. It's 12 to nine. Again at the service line for Bayside is Jenna Walters. Walter serve received by Fox. Set low for Turner. Turner drops it in. Shaq was there to receive. Backside Shaq sends it over. Almost a miscommunication there for Vieira. Beak with the kill attempt. Received by Carter up by the net, off the net. And a whistle. And Bayside goes into the net. 12-10, Bears lead. Brennan Turner back to serve for Vieira. Turner serve, drops in. Nicely, but can't be received by Shaq. An ace for Brennan Turner. Vieira draws back within one. It's 12-11. Now the lead for Bayside. Brennan Turner heads back to serve once again for Vieira. Turner had a solid performance in that preseason showcase. That one dropped in, dug out by Sams. Quick set. Shaq brings the kill there. Makes up for... The point given to Vieira off of her. Comes back big with the kill. 13-11 Bayside leads. Back to serve for the Bears will be Madison Hamilton. As Bayside leads by two here in set number one. Now back to the regular season. Unlike last week, we're going back best three out of five sets. In those preseason, it was two out of three. That is not the norm. Back to serve is Hamilton. Hamilton sends it deep. Vieira lets it go. 13-12, Bayside leads. Hawks back within one. Back to serve now will be Allie Brown. Here for the first time tonight. So welcome you all into the Brevard Sports Network. Powered by Natwick Insurance. Served there by Allie Brown. Received by Walters. And sent over by Madison Hamilton. Bump set, Haley Beak. With a nice touch there, but Bayside was ready for it. Ainsley Shack with the power down the line. And it's out of bounds. And we are tied at 13. But I'll tell you, Shaq bringing the power early up at the net. But just can't catch the line there. Allie Brown back to serve again for Vieira. Tied at 13. And number 13 serves it up. Up towards the net. Backside set. Lee sends it over. Bump set by Sosa. Backside pickle blocked up front by Colton. Beak sends it down the line. Nice play. And Vieira takes the lead 14-13. An incredible placement there by Haley Beak. Mid-air, you can see her switch angles going from the middle straight down the side where nobody was there. And that's the experience Haley Beak brings to this Vieira team. Serve from Ali Brown. Kept in by Hamilton. Bump set, sent over by Colton. Sosa sets for Beak again. Beak brings the power this time. But Hamilton sends it right back on the first touch for Bayside. Pickle drops it in, playing towards the sideline. Hamilton plays up to the net. Ainsley Shaq tipped at the net, doesn't slow it down. 
And we're tied at 14. This opening set living up to the hype here early on from Vieira. Back to serve for Bayside will be Camille Moeller. Back to the service line for the first time since she started this game off. Serving. Tied at 14. Moeller looking to break the tie for Bayside with the serve. Fox set by Brown. Outside Beak with the left. Tip to the net. Redirected over to Hamilton. Quick set. And the kill off of Sosa. There for Jasmine Colton. Puts Bayside back in front. 15-14. And the power this Bayside team holds right up at the net is going to take them far. That's what I'm seeing early on. Back to serve for Bayside is Camille Moeller. That serve received by Beak. Set far side. Out by Beak. On the third touch. Bump set. Kill attempt coming in, and it goes into the net there for Haley Hackett. We're tied once again at 15. This game continues to stay even. Back checking in the game for Vieira is Ella Brand and Taylor Christensen. Back to serve for the Hawks is Ella Brand. This game tied up at 15 apiece midway through the opening set. Brand serve received by Hamilton. Bump set into the middle. And Camille Moeller sends it over in three. Set kill attempt there by Shaley Reggett. Received well by Bayside. Near side, Shaq. Dug out by Vieira. Sosa keeps it alive. Taylor Christensen sends it over. Now a set low. And blocked by Vieira. Or into the net. Back to Bayside there as Colton brought the heat but just missed time the jump. 16-15. Vieira takes the lead back once again. Ella Brand will continue service for Vieira. Drops in very low, dug out by Hamilton and sent over. Set up by the net by Brown, tipped over by Reggett. Now for Bayside, run up tip by Jenna Walters. Front side set, kill attempt down the line. And a big kill there for Taylor Christensen. Vieira leads by two at 17-15. Set. Back and forth throughout. Neither coaches needed to take a timeout. They both still have two in their back pocket. As this one continues to chug along late in the first set. Vieira leads by two, 17 to 15. Another serve for Ella Brand. Sails long that time. Good eye from Bayside. 17-16. Now the Vieira lead by one. And back to serve for Bayside once again is Ainsley Shack. Dropped in, received by Sosa. Bump set up towards the net. Haley Beak plays it cross court. And it can't catch that line on the far side. It goes out of bounds. And just as quickly as Vieira jumped ahead to the two-point lead, Bayside responds to tie it at 17. Once again, it'll be Shack to serve. This game tied at 17. Deep shot there, awkwardly received by Ella Brand, and that's an ace for Ansley Shack. It's 18-17. Bayside takes the lead back on a 3-0 scoring run. Shack to serve. That one drops low. Brand digs it out. Bump set up. Just free ball. Dropped over on Bayside's side of the net. Colton got it over. Now Beak. With the power, too much power, it goes long. It's 1917 Bayside on a 4 0 run. Shaq continues to run at the service line. That one gonna sail deep. That one must have caught some wind there as that one. Did not catch the end line. Vieira lets it fly. 19-18. Bears lead late in set one. Olivia Sosa to serve for Vieira. Sosa, one of the highest impact freshmen in Brevard this year. That one drops in. Received by Hamilton. Miscommunication. Nobody picks it up. It's an ace for Sosa. And again, we're tied at 19. 
at this point the runs just aren't sticking for either team as it continues to go back and forth Sosa looking to put the Hawks ahead now at the service line Sosa serve drops into Ainsley Shack. Ball bumped up in the air, sent over by Jasmine Colton. A quick set up ahead, tipped at the net on the kill attempt by Turner. Hamilton sets up, kill attempt off a of brand, coming back hard off the basketball hoop up there. Brings the heat to the floor, and it's 20 to 19. Bayside takes the lead. And that one, I think, would have ended up falling back down into play for Vieira, obviously, if the hoop isn't there to bring it back down twice as fast back to serve for Bayside the libero Bella Sams as the Bears lead by one 20 to 19 Sams shots one in dug out by Sosa backside set for Beak and she puts it through the floor there and we're tied at 20 scores 20-20 the result of this one anything but clear as back to serve is going to be Haley Beat. After the kill by herself, now trying to help put the Hawks ahead at the service line. Beak angles that one to Sams. Set up ahead. Sent over by Walters. Now back the other way by Brennan Turner. Here's a set again to Walters. Nice tip there. Great play at the net. Dropping it into space, and it's 21 20. The lead for Bayside. Checking in for Bayside now will be Addison Carter and Jayla Lee. And Carter will head back to serve for the Hawks. And here's going to be the first time out of the set taken by head coach Sarah Wayne for the Vieira Hawks. He's going to look into that huddle here. And I'll try and see what I can pick up from what the coaches are saying. You know, I don't think this time out any sort of a panic from Vieira, but you have two timeouts if you're Coach Wayne and still for uh, Coach Hunt and Bayside. They still have two timeouts as well, and as close as it is, you might as well use them and get a chance to talk to your team here as we switch sides over to Bayside and see that huddle. But yeah, I mean, that kind of how I see this timeout, just giving some advice here, getting, getting some game plans set up as this one stays tight all the way to past 20 points each in this set and set number one of the game set number one of the season for both these teams and Bayside holds a 21-20 advantage at the moment as we head back to play it'll be a Bayside serve with Addison Carter Bears leading by one 21 to 20 Vieira now with one timeout left in the set Carter drops it into Sosa Set outside, Christensen tries to tip it over. Doesn't get enough on it, goes into the net. Two-point lead for Bayside late in the set. They win the timeout as well. It's 22-20. As Addison Carter will head back to serve again for Bayside. Carter serve, drops into Sosa again. Set by Brown. Another kill attempt there, blocked up front by Jayla Lee and Janae McClinn, quite the duo up front. And a quick timeout again for Vieira, and that's gonna be it for Coach Sarah Wayne in the first set. Back-to-back -back timeouts as Bayside gets two more points out of the last one. It's 23-20. You get a glimpse of both huddles there on the screen. A lot more coaching up going on in this timeout than the last for Coach Wayne. Is, that was a quick turnaround. I mean, two points later, Vieira with another timeout as Bayside, or Vieira sends one into the net. Bayside blocks another up front. And that net presence by Bayside's been huge in giving them this lead. A lot of big key blocks and kills playing from the net itself. And we'll see if Bayside can keep it going with Addison Carter, the service load. Vieira. Desperately needing to pick up some points here to avoid going in to set point Bayside if they're not careful. Addison Carter will continue to serve. Bayside leads at 23-20 late in set one. That one bumped out up ahead towards the net. Sent over with a bump from Haley Beak. Right by the net, fake set over. But it's a violation by Addison Carter on that second touch. 
Vieira gets a point back and wins this wins the timeout. Checking in for Vieira, Leah Fox and Brooke Pickle. And Fox will head back to serve for Vieira. It is 23-21. Bayside leads late in set one. Fox looking to turn the, turn the tides at the service line. It starts with an ace for Leah Fox. It's 23-22. Vieira back within one. And now we'll see the first time out from head coach Nicole Hunt in Bayside. As again, same reason I gave for Vieira. If you're Bayside uh, and Coach Hunt, you still have your two timeouts. Might as well use them as Vieira's gotten two points back quickly out of their second timeout. And we'll see how Bayside responds coming out of their own timeout from Coach Hunt. A big few points there from the Hawks. They got to keep the pressure on Bayside here. Try and tie it at 23. And then from that point, uh, again, if both teams get to 24, then we'll have overtime in the opening set here. And we had a doubleheader tonight on the Brevard Sports Network. As we also had the battle for the island between Merritt Island and Merritt Island Christian with Alan Zarzinski on the call for that one. But that started... Now an hour and a half ago at 6.30. So uh, that one may have wrapped up already. Vier Merritt Island led two sets to zero last time. I saw it. And there's another ace for Leah Fox. And we're tied at 23. As it's three unanswered points from the Hawks. As they look to steal set number one from the grasps of the Bears. Leah Fox back to serve again for Vieira. Looking to put the Hawks in front. That serve clips the tape, received by Jayla Lee. Set up front, Lee plays it over to Beak. Set up front for Brennan Turner. Turner drops it out. Now set point for Bayside. And we do get an update. Merritt Island knocks off Merritt Island Christian in straight sets. So the Mustangs start the season 1-0. But here, set point for Bayside with Jenna Walters. But if Vieira gets this point, we'll go to overtime. Receive, dug out, set, Turner. Tipped at the net, received by Bayside, up towards the net. Back inside Carter, up front to Fox. And we had a whistle, and it goes to Vieira. I heard the whistle, no call for a good 10 more seconds, was waiting on it. And Bayside's in the net, and we're going to overtime in set one, tied at 24. Between Vieira and Bayside, back to serve to start overtime is Brennan Turner. Turner serve, received by Shaq. Miscommunication, Bayside still gets it over. Now set back for Beak. Beak plays it cross court, and a kill for Haley Beak. And here we have now set point for Vieira as they look to steal this set away from Bayside. And now Bayside and Coach Nicole Hunt will take their last time out of the opening set. 25-24, Vieira has set point now as they've turned a Bayside set point to one of their own on back-to-back -back points from down 24-23 to up 25-24 and looking to end it here in set one. And I'm telling you, regardless here, I know Vieira's young, but this is still a very strong program under Coach Wayne, but Bayside... It's got a lot of fight in him as well. This this match is going to be interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if we see five. Teams break the huddle. 25-24 set point for Vieira. Brennan Turner to serve as Vieira looks to take set number one of the season. Set point, Brennan Turner. Drops it in. Received by Shaq. Set up front by Carter. Shaq. Big kill attempt dug out by Vieira, but nobody's there to keep it alive. And overtime continues as we're tied up at 25. Checking in for Bayside is going to be Madison Hamilton. Back to serve is Hamilton for Bayside. Now tied at 25 as the Bears looking to take set point right back now. Hamilton to serve. 
Dug out by Sosa, set far side, Pickle pushes it through. Bayside keeps it alive, what a play! But it's gonna be four touches for the Bears. And Vieira gets set point again, 26-25. The Bears can't believe it. But that is the call. Back to serve. With set point is Allie Brown for the Hawks. What an opening set. Now the officials are going to go and convene here and see if they are on the same page on this call. A big call here on the opening set. The call was four touches on Bayside. And that will stay the call. And it's 26-25. Vieira leads it. Bayside going to go over there and try and challenge the call. And at least give their side of the story. To no avail. 26-25 Vieira. Set point. It's Allie Brown to serve. Brown serve. Sails long. Good eye for Bayside. And set one continues. 26 apiece. Checking back in the game for Bayside is going to be Camille Moeller and Haley Hackett. We're tied up again now at 26. Neither team wanting to win this set as they continue to trade points. It is Moeller to serve. Tied at 26. Dug out by Fox. Set up at the net. Outside. Beak is blocked up front. And a huge block by Jasmine Colton and Haley Hackett gives Bayside set point for the first time since 24-23. Now at 27-26. Moeller looking to give Bayside the set win, bringing the serve. Received by Fox, set cross court. Peak lofts it over, received by Shaq. Set right up front, Colt. Colton received, now quick set low, sent over, dug out by Bayside, backside set, Shaq to win the set, Fox is under it, quick set, sent, was it deflected, yes it was, and we are tied at 27, and that's a good call there, that one definitely changed course after it went over the net, as you saw it get sent over and out of bounds, and we're tied at 27. Bayside doesn't agree, but from my vantage point, that ball definitely changed course like it was tipped. Ella Brand to serve for Vieira. Set one continues to rage on. Tied at 27. Both teams out of timeouts. That one received by Hamilton. Bump set up in the air. Sent over by Jasmine, or Haley Hackett rather. Quick set. Sent down and a kill for Shaley Reggett. Set point again for Vieira now, 28-27. Who's going to take set one? It's still not clear, but Vieira is one point away. Ella Brand to serve. Hawks lead it 28-27. Could we see 30? Into the net. Now we are guaranteed to see 30 as we're tied at 28 apiece in set one. Ansley Shack to serve for Bayside, tied at 28. This is the longest set I've seen in my career. Serve for Shaq. Received by Sosa. Set back to the net. Beak. Dug out well by Bayside. Bump set by Hamilton. Goes back. Hack it into the net. Set point again for Vieira. 29-28. I think Vieira's had set point at least four or five times. Can they finally put the set away? It's Olivia Sosa at the service line. The freshman. Seeing if she can weather the storm and pick up the set win. Sosa drops it in. Hamilton is there. Backside set. Colton goes right at Sosa. She's ready. Set cross court. Christensen. Ball stays alive. Hamilton plays it near side. Walters kept alive by Vieira. Backside set. Peak. Drop. Was it tipped? Yes, it was. And in an incredibly long set one, what a battle. Hawks win it 30 to 28. Haley Beak with the kill to win the set. And I think Vieira had set point at least five times. But finally, when they hit 
Point number 30. Set one ends as Haley Beak puts it away on the block out by Bayside. And what a first set to open the 2024 season with an absolute bang as we see 30 points go up on the board in set number one. And what a set there for the Hawks and the Bears. I mean, the rally there, but I talked about midway through that set. What I wanted to see out of Vieira after that preseason was finishing out set strong and finishing out matches overall. They finished out a set very strong there. That's step one as they take set one, 30-28, to 28, and what a battle there. And you could tell the nerves and just the pressure setting in. You were seeing a lot more just tight plays up front, you know, some awkward receives. But both teams absolutely fought. I mean, Bayside had set point initially at 24-23. And, you know, for them, four points later. For Vieira, seven points later. The Hawks end up winning it, going on that 7-4 run to close and win it 30-28. to they are seeing a lot of coaching going on over here for the Vieira Hawks. It's a young team, but I'm telling you, the talent is still there. And you can see it, they take set one. But again, they took set one over Merritt Island last week, ended up falling in three sets. They took set two over Satellite, ended up falling in three sets. So if you're Vieira, you want to come out just as strong in set number two and do it all again. If you're Bayside, you know you were so close, a point away a few different times. And now for the Bears, the focus is on getting a set back at Vieira and tying this one up one-to-one -one and not letting the Hawks get ahead by two sets. But regardless, I think we're in for a treat in this one. And I'd like to thank our sponsors, Beachway Volleyball Club and Martinez Construction for sponsoring the Brevard Sports Network. For Beachway Volleyball Club, makeup tryouts are coming up on September 8th at the Wickham Park Community Center. There's a flyer up on our page. Uh, was put up today about it, so... If you're looking for more information, go to beachwayvolleyball.club or check out the flyer on the Brevard Sports Network Facebook page if you're interested in trying out for Beachway Volleyball Club. As again, Vieira takes a thrilling set one, 30 to 28. And lead 1-0 in sets over base side as we get set to start set number two. In game number two of our doubleheader tonight on the Brevard Sports Network. Match one closed up with a straight set victory for Merritt Island over Merritt Island Christian. But I would be shocked if this one went straight sets. As I think we're in for a long one tonight. As the end set one ended with a Haley Beat kill off of a base side tip at the net. As they win it 30 to 28, as we get set to start set number two. The team is back on the floor, getting ready to roll. That one was tight from start to finish. The biggest lead of that entire match was four points for Vieira early. It was seven to three, but then Bayside jumped back ahead eight seven after that on a big run. So the lead was short lived at that point. And at that point on, it was one point leads, two point leads, and what not from there on out and starting us off in set two will be Ali Brown for Vieira with the serve and that serve goes out of bounds and the first point goes to Bayside to start set number two it's 1-0 Bears they started set one up 2-0 see if they can do it again here at the service line for the Bears is Camille Moeller Moeller drops it in, received by Fox up in the air. Sosa keeps it alive, plays it back into the middle. And sent over by Reggett up front. And a big-time kill by Jasmine Colton. I think that one might have left a mark on the floor there. 
And it's 2-0. Bayside once again to start this set. Moeller to serve for the Bears. That one received by Fox out towards the sideline. Back into the middle. Sent over by Reggett. Now Bayside will play it. Ansley Shack off the tip of the net. Bayside leads at 3-0 to start set number two. Wasting no time jumping out in front and growing their lead. As it is Camille Moeller back to serve once again. Moeller to serve. Dropped in, received by Fox. Set cross court. Beak sends it over. Dropped in. Hamilton digs it out. Goes over and two. But it's over and out. And Vieira gets on the scoreboard now. It's 3-1. Bears with the lead. Checking in for Vieira is going to be Ella Brand. And Taylor Christensen heading back to serve for Vieira is Ella Brand. Brand to serve for Vieira. Drops in. First touch by Shaq. Goes right back over. Up by the net. Allie Brown keeps it alive. Bump set back to Taylor Christensen who sends a deep received by Bayside. Upside set. Shaq with power blocked up front by Vieira. It was Reggett and Beak, but Bayside sends it back over for the kill. It's Haley Hackett. It's 4-1 Bayside as they go right back in front by three. Their biggest lead of the night. And Shaq will head back to serve for the Bears. There's the serve by Shaq. Dropped in, received by Brand. Bump set up ahead for Beak. Beak sends it back the far side. Hamilton bumps set to the near side. Walter, nice dig. There by Ella Brand. Christensen plays it over for Vieira. Now Walters gets it over. The Missouri State commit. Beak sends it back the far side and a kill for Haley Beak. It's 4-2 base side now to start set number two. As Reggett will come off the floor now for Vieira. And Olivia Sosa will head back to serve. Olivia Sosa to serve into the net there. 5-2, Bayside leads by three. Once again. That's one Sosa will want back, but still early in the second set. Back to serve is the Presbyterian commit, Jasmine Colton. Alton serve, Bears lead it 5-2 right in the net, back the other way, and it's 5-3. Colton subs out, checking in for Bayside is Bella Sams. Back to serve is Haley Beak for Vieira. Hawks trail 5-3. Beak serve, received by Shaq. Set back side, Hackett dug out, nice second touch, good reflexes there for Vieira to get it over. Bump set by Sams. Kill attempt blocked up front by Brennan Turner. They'll set it cross court to Christensen. She'll play it down the line. Dug out by Bayside. Second touch sent over by McClinn. Set up to the net. Taylor Christensen. The kill goes off the tip of the net and out untouched by Bayside. And the Bears lead by three again. It went 3-0-4-1-5-2, now 6-3. And checking in for Bayside and heading to serve will be Addison Carter. Addison Carter to serve. Dropped into Sosa. Quick set backside to Beak. Beak drops it in. Nice dig by Carter. Played right back to Carter. But Shaq is the one that plays it over. Backside bump set. And played by Christensen. Now set to the near side, Walters gets the antenna. That's out of bounds, point to Vieira, it's 6-4. That one almost looked like she overran the ball, had to extend back to make contact, and it gets the antenna anyway. Brooke Pickle and Leah Fox will check in the game for Vieira. Pickle will head back to serve for the Hawks. Leah Fox drops that in. Now backside set, run up tip by Walters. Collision there on the ground for Vieira. All is well. 
but the Hawks get it over. Set near side. Walters blocked. Set by Carter. Backside. Vieira looking to adjust. Doesn't get there in time. And Jay Lee with the kill. Now 7-4 as Bayside continues to lead by three. And Vieira needing the towel here. Dry up the floor. 7-4, Bayside leads. They've led by three consistently throughout the set. It was 3-0, then 4-1, then 5-2, 6-3, 7-4. You get the idea as they are continuing to just hold this lead. If, if they give a point, they get one back quickly. Back to serve for Bayside once again is going to be Jenna Walters. Walters run up serve, received by Leah Fox. Bump set by Beak. Sent over by Pickle. Now Bayside to return. Ainsley Shack on the third touch. Plays it through. Brown set across. Pickle has to bump it over. It goes back corner. Walters tracks it down. Backside set. Kill attempt there by Lee. It doesn't go. Now Vieira sends it back the other way. The teams continue to rally out of bounds there for Bayside on the kill attempt. 7-5. Vieira cuts it back to two again. But they haven't been closer to two since it was 1-0. Closer than two. Brennan Turner to serve now for the Hawks. Turner serve. Lofts through the air. Picked up by Bella Sams. Sat near side. Shaq. Kill attempt sent down the line by Vieira. And it drops. And again, still a three-point lead for Bayside. Checking in the game is going to be Madison Hamilton. Along with Jasmine Colton. As it'll be Madison Hamilton to serve. That one drops in for the ace. Sosa couldn't get to it. Biggest lead of the set now. Tied for the biggest lead of the match overall as well for Bayside. Now 9-5. They lead it by four. Serve again by Hamilton. Dug out by Fox. Doesn't get high up in the air, but still sent over by Pickle. Bomb set up by the net. Colton! Buries that one up at the net. No wind up, just the drop there. And now a five point lead, the biggest of the match. Extends for Bayside, now 10-5 as they've doubled up Vieira. Great response after a first set loss. We'll see if Bayside can continue to carry the momentum. Madison Hamilton to serve. Served by Hamilton, Fox. With the receive, set far side, Brooke Pickle in the net. Six-point lead now for Bayside. 11-5 and timeout, Coach Sarah Wayne. And that one felt like it was just a matter of time. It's 11-5 now, Bayside leads by six. And again, this is what I was talking about with Vieira. Most notably looking at last week's preseason. I understand it's preseason, but you got to take what you see. And what I saw there most notably was against Satellite, where Vieira ended up, set one was back and forth, Satellite wins it. Set two though, Vieira goes out and knocks off Satellite by 12 points to force a make or break set three in which they turn around and lose by 12 in a first to 15 set. That's what I'm looking for for Vieira now is that consistency. Set one was back and forth. Even if this set they're trailing but it's back and forth, it's a different story. But right now it's been all Bayside. They've led it from start to finish in set two. They now lead by six. The biggest lead of either set so far. So this is not, if you're Vieira, not what you want to see. You want to see that consistency, and that will grow with a young team. But for Bayside, this is where you need to exploit that and take over. Now for Vieira, they were hindered by the fact they only had three sets to play last week. This week, best three out of five now in the regular season play. So we'll see. Um, all things considered, though, set two has been going pretty well for the Bayside Bears. And back to serve for them will be Madison Hamilton. We'll have more volleyball throughout the rest of the week. Uh, Hamilton serve there, received by Beak. Set near side, Beak gets it over. Dug out by Carter, backside to Shaq. Played up ahead to Fox, now set up. Kill attempt by Reggett, tipped to the net. And that'll be a kill for Shaley Reggett as Vieira wins the timeout. 11-7 now, they cut it back to four. Or 11-6, rather. 
And back to serve for Vieira is going to be Allie Brown looking to keep the scoring run going. Looking to establish their first scoring run of any kind farther than a point in the set. Set by Carter. Shaq drops it in and a nice kill for Ansley Shaq. And it's 12-6 again. Vieira has doubled up, or Bayside has doubled up Vieira. Checking back in for Bayside will be Camille Moeller. As well as Haley Hackett. As back to serve for Bayside now. Was Camille Moeller. Bump set outside. Beak sends it over. Nice dig by Walters. Backside set. Shaq bumps it over. And three. Now set up by the net. Kill attempt blocked up front. But Vieira gets it right over after the block by Colton. And Bayside sends it into the net. Vieira will get a point back once again. It'll be at 12 to 7. But again, Vieira still hasn't had to run the set over a singular point. They need to get one going here as the set continues to get farther and farther along. Checking back in the game for Vieira. Ella Brand and Taylor Christensen with Brand heading to a service. Ella Brand getting set to serve for Vieira. Brand service short. And scoring run will not start here for Vieira either. Bayside goes back ahead by six. It's 13 to seven. And Ainsley Shack to serve now for Bayside. They lead by six. Sosa with the receive. Set far side. Taylor Christensen down the line for the kill off of Moeller. It's 13 8 now. Bayside's lead cut back to five again. Checking in for Vieira is Brennan Turner with Olivia Sosa back to serve for the Hawks. Back to serve is Sosa for Vieira. Sosa serve dropped in, received by Shaq. Cross court set, Walters brings the heat. Vieira receives it. They play it alive, but Beak was out of bounds when she played it. But Beak going to go and challenge that. She immediately contested it. Beak still disagrees, but the call will stand. Checking in the game now for Bayside is Peyton Carter. And back to serve is Bella Sams. As again, Bayside leads by six. It's 14 to eight. Sams to serve. The Bears leading by six. Sosa set up ahead. Brennan Turner, nice drop, but a great dig by Hackett to play out. Carter with the kill attempt, and it drops. Biggest lead of the night now extends for Bayside to seven. It's 15-8. Bears leading here midway through set number two as they look to even up the set count at one apiece as Sams will continue to serve for Bayside. Bella Sam serve, drops in, received by Sosa, right up off the net, played back, and Ella Brand gets it over. Now the set up towards the net by Bayside. That one played back by Vieira, outside, tipped at the net, stays alive again. Sams plays it over, set by Vieira, now backside set over across to Christensen, who sails it. Bayside has doubled up Vieira again, they lead by eight, it's 16-8 Bears. With a big lead here, looking to coast to a set two win. Serve for Bella Sams. Sams with the serve. Received by Beak. Backside set, Haley Beak. Nice tip, dug out again by Hackett. Making a lot of big plays down by the floor and a kill for Jenna Walters. A nine point lead for Bayside. And Coach Sarah Wayne. Will take her second and final time out of the set. And she is fired up here. It's 17-8 Bayside.
There, Coach Wayne telling her team they got to play with confidence and speed. Fired up, but, you know, a little bit frustrated. I mean, the Hawks won set one, but Bayside has come out and led all of set two, and now their lead has grown to nine. It's 17-8 Bears back to serve as Bella Sams once again. Sam serve, drops back, received by Vieira. Set, tipped at the net, and a kill there for Taylor Christensen as the Hawks get a point back as they win the timeout. It's 17-9. Bayside leads by eight, back to serve for Vieira as Haley Beak. Beak to serve. Dropped in, dug out by Vieira, backside into the middle. And played over by Hackett too long. Vieira gets another point back. The first time in the entirety of set two that they've gone on a at least two-point run as they make it 17-10. Bayside still leads by seven. Back to serve is Haley Beak once again. Beak serve received by Bayside out towards the sideline. And now 3-0 run for Vieira. Ace by Beak. It's 17-11. Hawks fighting back here after the timeout by Coach Wayne. Now Vieira doesn't have any more timeouts, so they got to keep it rolling here. Serve again for Beak. Received by Sams. Set back side. Hackett sends it cross court over to Beak. Set up to the net. Brennan Turner plays it out. 18-11. Bayside leads set number two. Checking back in for the Bears is going to be Addison Carter as well as Jayla Lee. Back to serve is Addison Carter. Carter drops in, received by Sosa, backside set, Haley Beak with force for the kill there for Vieira. It's 18-12, Bayside leads. Checking back in the game for Vieira is gonna be Brooke Pickle and Leah Fox for the Hawks. It's 18-12 Bayside though, looking to still coast to a set two win. Vieira looking to fight back, Leah Fox to serve. Looking to cut it back to five. Fox down the line and it hits. <laughs> Coach Nicole Hunt for Bayside. And she is out of bounds. And 19-12 uh, Bayside's lead extends to seven. Don't think she was aiming for Coach Hunt there, but regardless, that is a point for Bayside. It's 19-12, back to serve as Walters. Walters angles it towards the sideline. Fox digs it out, back outside. Brooke Pickle plays it inside. Sam's bump set, deep kill attempt there from Walters. Dug out by Sosa. Pickle plays it from outside the antenna, back in. Backside set by Carter. Kill attempt by Lee. Sosa keeps it alive. Bumped up ahead. Brennan Turner plays it over. Set by Carter to Shaq. Shaq drops it over to Beak. Now set far side. Brooke Pickle, it's blocked, but straight down for the kill by Brooke Pickle. Vieira keeps it back at six now. The deficit, it's 19-13. Now Brennan Turner to serve for Vieira. They trail by six. Sams receive first touch back over the net. Play to the outside, Pickle down the line. Did it catch the line? No, it did not. And out of bounds by Pickle. Point for Bayside, it's 20 to 13 Bears. And heading back to serve for Bayside is Madison Hamilton, but you can see the contrast. Set one, these teams were tied 20-20. Set two, it's 20 to 13. Bayside leads by seven. Hamilton to serve for the Bears. Goes at Beak, it's received. Set. Back to Haley Beak. Beak sends it over. Dug out. Second touch played over by Carter. Bump set by Vieira. Pickle sends it deep to Walters. Set up. Kill attempt into the net. And that's going to be four touches for Bayside off of Jayla Lee. Vieira cuts it back to six. It's 20 to 14. Back to serve again is going to be Allie Brown for Vieira. Brown serve, received by Walters. Up towards the net, free ball dropped down by Reggett. Another point goes back to 
Vieira, they cut it to five. It's 20 to 15. And timeout, Coach Nicole Hunt for Bayside. Her first of set number two as she looks to kill this Vieira run and help put the help the Bears put this set away. Remember, they had set point in set one, didn't end up winning it, but have a much larger lead this time around, trying to avoid giving it up. Once again, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Beachway Volleyball Club and Martinez Construction. Our two sponsors here for volleyball on the Brevard Sports Network. As Kayla Brown has joined me here for a moment, and you were just at a match, our first game of the doubleheader, Merritt Island and Merritt Island Christian. And for those who didn't catch any of that game, give us a quick little recap and how Merritt Island looked. Look, Merritt Island looked good, but you know what? Merritt Island Christian looked really good too. Uh, Merritt Island Christian, the, the the biggest loss they had was, I believe, five points to, to Merritt Islands. In the second set, Merritt Island Christian uh, lost 25-22. Uh, but Merritt Island Christian really showed themselves they're going to be a problem come playoff time. As we get back to this one, served by... Alley Brown gets received and sent right back by Bayside. Outside Pickle into the net. That's a big point to go back to Bayside to end the scoring run by the Hawks. It's 21-15. Bayside looking to put away set number two. Checking back in for the Bears will be Haley Hackett and Camille Moeller. And Moeller will head back to serve for Bayside as the Bears lead it by six now. Once again late in the set looking to put it all away. Camille Moeller to serve with a six-point advantage. Now on her seed by Vieira, bump set up ahead, taken over by Brooke Pickle going deep. Walters is there. Up ahead to Shaq. Shaq comes off awkward there off the bottom of the hand. And that'll be another point for Vieira. They cut back within five. It's 21-16. Checking back in for Vieira will be Ella Brand and Taylor Christensen with Ella Brand heading back to serve. Brand getting set to bring the serve. Vieira looking to cut it down inside four points. Not over yet here in set two. Bayside has led every point of this set. Hamilton receives the set. Low set. Walters sets it over. That ball somehow creeps over for Vieira, but Bayside even more miraculously keeps it alive. And there's another block from Colton up front. Vieira gets it over. Set Colton with force again. A low set. And a bullet of a kill straight to the floor. Six-point lead again for Bayside. They're three points away. It's 22-16. Ansley Shack to serve for Bayside. The new bear on the block, so to speak. Shack drops it in. Awkward receive for Christensen. It's an ace for Shack. Bayside leads again by seven. Unfazed by the Vieira run. Coach Hunt takes that timeout. Bayside turns over a new leaf. As they look to put away set two, Ainsley Shaq to serve. Shaq played outside by Christensen. Bump set up towards the net. Haley Beak plays it. Dug out by Shaq. Goes right back over the net in one. Backside set again for Beak with the left. Sent over to Hamilton up by the net. It's set outside. Walters drops it in. Christensen digs it out. Vieira playing tough. Lack of communication, but Beak gets it over regardless. Low set again. Vieira was ready for it. Anticipates. Now they'll go the other way and hack it. Haley Hackett with the kill and it's set point for Bayside again. But again, they had set point in set one. But the difference here, they lead by eight instead of one. When they take set point, Ainsley Shack trying to take set two for Bayside. Shack serve, received by Sosa. Backside set to Beak. Oh! Big time kill there for... Haley Beak right at Hamilton to keep Vieira alive. It's 24-17. And Beak brought everything behind that one. Both these teams, a lot of power up front. Olivia Sosa back to serve. Vieira staying alive. Just off the tape there on the serve. Bayside was ready for it regardless. Walters with the kill attempt in. The full kill there. And Bayside takes set number two over Vieira by eight. 
25 to 17 is now one set apiece between these two squads. A set two, Bayside leads from start to finish. They win that set by eight points. After a 30 point set one by Vieira, this one all Bayside in set two. We're gonna take a quick break here as we have a break between the sets. We'll be back in about two minutes for the start of set number three here from Vieira High School. Welcome you back here to the Brevard Sports Network from Vieira High School. Tonight's broadcast sponsored by Martinez Construction and Beach Wave Volleyball Club. Beach Wave with makeup tryouts coming up on September 8th. And coming up later this week, we got more volleyball and week one of Friday Night Lights set to come here on the Brevard Sports Network. I believe we have five games on the network this Friday. And if I could tell you all five, I would off the top of my head. But that I will need some assistance. On Friday night, we'll have Titusville at Coco, Fort Pierce Central at Vieira, Heritage at Palm Bay in the Battle of the Bay, Holy Trinity at MCC, and the rivalry yet to be named, and Toho at Melbourne. Set two in this one goes to Bayside. 25-17 set one was Vieira, 30-28. This one, one set apiece as we head into set number three. It will be Moeller to get us started in the third set. This one could be the deciding set to set up a match-winning set. That one is going to be a double on Vieira. And for the third consecutive set, Bayside takes first point, 1-0. Serve there into the net from Moeller that time. 
And now for the first time in three sets, it's 1-1 as each set Bayside has t had taken a 2-0 lead. But Fiera gets a point back there. Student section always graciously reminding the other team that there is, in fact, a net there. Their favorite saying tonight. And back to serve for Vieira is Ella Brand looking to put the Hawks in front. And that's an ace. Nobody receives it. 2-1. Vieira takes the lead in set three. As again, what I was looking for tonight for Vieira is consistency. Set one, they win. Set two, they never lead. We'll see how set three looks. So far, has been their best start of all three sets as they lead early 2-1 with Ella Brand at the service line. And we'll see where she wants to attack following the uncontested ace. Brand drops it in off the tape, dug out by Shaq. Set and sent over by Hackett. First touch, free ball, dropped over by Shaq again. Outside of Sosa. Outside, kill attempt and a kill for Ella Brand. Drops in, untouched for Bayside. It's 3-1 Vieira to start set number three. Nice start for the Hawks. Something I also want to highlight here in this game. I think we got two some of the most notable rising underclassmen in Brevard County for uh, Olivia Sosa and Ainsley Shack in this game. Two names to keep an eye on for at least the two next two to three years. There's an ace, though, for Ella Brand. And it's 4-1 Vieira to start set number three. And again, after leading for zero points in set two, they hop out to a three-point lead in set number three. Their biggest lead of the match was 7-4, seven, 7-3 seven, back in set one. Looking to match that here. As received by Sams, outside set back inside to Sams. The libero bumps it over. Backside, low set, kill attempt by Reggett. But Bayside receives and sends it over. There's a set backside. Haley Beak blocked up front by Colton and Shaq. Played to the far side. Taylor Christensen sends it over. Second touch over on the net on the tip. And sent over by Ella Brand on the third touch. Low set. That's what Colton has had a lot of kills off tonight. Vieira blocks it. Now they'll tip it over with Beak and Reg it up by the net. Shaq plays it outside to Sosa. Cross court set to Christensen. Big time rally going on here. Set outside. Ansley Shaq sets up, brings the kill attempt. Vieira's ready. Outside set. Christensen gets there and sent over, but Moeller receives. Shaq, awkward receive again there on the move, and it's 5 1. Vieira ties their biggest lead of the match. And a nice start to set three, and we'll see how long Coach Hunt lets it ride. Still early on in the set, no reason to panic yet. For Bayside, as again, they trailed by four early in set one. Did lose the set, but they took it all the way deep into overtime regardless. Ella Brand to serve again. Clips the tape. Received by Sams. Set outside. Hackett has to backpedal to get under it. Set inside. Beak attacks and kills right as Sams had fallen down. Beak kept note of that and attacks that position. And there's the timeout from Coach Nicole Hunt and Bayside as Vieira takes a match high five point lead. It's 6 1. As again, the Hawks just a, a wild card of a team, to be honest. And so far, they go out and beat Bayside in set one, don't take a lead in set two, and now come screeching hot into set number three. It's hard to put a pin on this team early on in the season. We saw it last week in the preseason. We see it again. This team's up and down. And if they can develop consistency, this team could be dangerous. See a familiar face enter the building now. Coach Diego Perez from Astronaut. I believe they played at Satellite tonight in their opening match of the season. Or no, Satellite was out. Possibly. Well, I think Astronaut had a game regardless somewhere tonight. So Coach Perez making the trip here to Vieira for this one. And back to play here after the timeout by Coach Hunt and Bayside. 6-1 Vieira with a hot start, a 6-0 run to start set number three. And all at the service line has been number six, Ella Brand, keeping it going. Brand serve, drops in, received by Shaq. Sams keeps it alive, sent over. Awkward receive from Vieira, still has a chance. Brand over to Beak. 
And clear of the net. Set up towards the net. Colton into the net. And the biggest lead of the night for the Hawks continues to grow. Now up to six. It's seven to one. Now the overall biggest lead of the match was Bayside by nine and set two. Vera looking to try and get up to that level. Back to serve again will be Ella Brand. I know Vieira won the JV game two sets to zero. There's an ace for Ella Brand. 8-0 Hawks run, and they lead it 8-1. That's the thing. When the Hawks get momentum, when the Hawks get energy, this team can roll. Bayside hasn't found a way to stop them here in the third set. This set matters a lot because that sets up what could be a match-winning fourth set for whoever wins this set. Brand serve back up towards the net. Set receive blocked up front by Vieira. It was Reggett and Christensen up front with the block. Now it'll be Brand sending it over. Ella Brand having a heck of a night for Vieira, especially at the service line. Playing it up is Brand. Soso with a long ball there. Does drop. Lack of communication. Bayside still plays it. And there's the kill for Jasmine Colton that she has been looking for for a while. Nice tidbit there in the chat as that set win by Bayside was their first over Vieira since September 20th of 2007. For those counting, I was not born. So that's a big deal for Bayside. And that's not discrediting Bayside whatsoever, but that's just showing how much this means to this team. Sosa's bump off the basketball net. Second time tonight, Vieira's had that happen to him. 8-3. Ansley Shack to serve for Bayside. Bears cut the lead back down to five. Shack serve, received by Sosa. Set up front and tipped over there by Reggett. Bayside looking to keep it alive. Bella Sams plays it over. Sosa up towards the net. Bump set, sent over there by Reggett. Now up front, Colton. Plays it over, last touch. Christensen toes the line there. And that one falls perfectly for the Hawks. They jump back ahead by six. It's nine to three. Vieira's got to keep this run going. Back to serve for the Hawks is the freshman, Olivia Sosa. Sosa to serve here for Vieira, received by Shaq. Set up front, run up kill attempt by Walters. Vieira not phased that time, beaked down the line. Sams finds the space. Colton up front, blocked by Brennan Turner. Sams gets it over, back up towards the net. Set cross court, Christensen was tipped. No, it was not, it was off the net. No tip by Bayside, and it's 9-4. Vieira leads by five, but the Bears bringing some fight back. Checking in the game for Bayside now will be Janae McLinn. Once again, for the first time since set two. McLinn had a lot of big blocks up front early on in those first two sets. Back to serve for Bayside is Jasmine Colton, the Presbyterian commit. That serve received by Brand. Set backside, Beak. Tipped at the net, Shaq keeps it alive. Bayside tracks it down, Shaq with one last gasp there. Can't get it back over. 10-4, Hawks lead. Haley Beak back to serve. She's had a big night tonight for Vieira. A lone returning varsity player for Vieira from that state runner-up team of last year. Beak serve, clips the tape, Sams digs it out. Backside set, Hackett blocked up front by Turner. Set near side, Walters with the kill. As that's the Missouri State commit with the kill. 10-5, Vieira still doubled up Bayside in set three. Checking in for Bayside is Addison Carter along with Jayla Lee as Carter will head back to serve. Carter serve dropped in, received well, set outside. Christensen sails it. And here comes Bayside. They cut it down to four. It's 10-6. I 
This is where Vieira's got to keep up the pressure. Can't let Bayside creep back into this game so quickly. Carter back to serve. Received by Sosa. Set backside. Beak with the kill. Untouched there for the point for Haley Beak. Check it back in the game. We Brooke Pickle and Leah Fox for Vieira. It's 11-6, Hawks. And back to serve now for Vieira is Leah Fox. Fox serve received by Sam. Set back side and sent over by Walters. Back side to Pickle. And gets it over in three. Carter near side. Walters blocked. Big time block, but first touch right back for Shaq. Free ball by the net. And it drops. Huge play there by Ansley Shaq to keep it all alive for Bayside. After a big time block by Vieira, it's 11-7. It's the Missouri State commit, Jenna Walters to serve for Bayside. 11-7, Vieira leads it. Set far side, Brooke Pickle, cross court kill. Into empty space, 12-7, Vieira leads by five. Olivia Sosa will come off the floor now for Vieira. Checking in will be Allie Brown. Back to serve is Brennan Turner for the Hawks. As Vieira leads by five, their biggest lead of the set was seven. And when it was eight to one. Serve received, set by Carter, low set. Walters, too low on the set possibly, but regardless, it's into the net for Walters, 13-7. Is the lead for Vieira, Brennan Turner back to serve. Brennan Turner to serve. Shaq, set, received, near side. Ansley Shaq brings it down for the kill. It's four. And a big time kill there for Shaq. 13-8, Hawks lead by five. Checking in now for Bayside, Madison Hamilton. That's the thing, when Shaq gets the clean set, gets the clean kill attempt, she hasn't had a lot tonight, but she has brought a lot of velocity to her kill this season. Already evident in this one, Hamilton serve. Deep one received by Fox. Sosa will play it closer to the net. Pickle sends it over in three. Here's the quick set. Colton with the kill. Jasmine Colton up front with another big time kill for Bayside. It's 13 9 as the Bears cut it down to four. Timeout, Coach Sarah Wayne and Vieira looking to cut off the Bayside momentum, but I think that's the Bears' biggest strength this season is just the velocity and the power up at the net. You see back to back kills from Ansley Shack and Jasmine Colton. And we'll see here. Vieira still leads by four, but Bayside does have some momentum growing here. At this point, Vieira just needs to keep the lead. If, he, if Bayside gets a point back, Vieira's just got to get one back as soon as they can and just keep this lead alive, pace themselves, get to the end of the set because this set is crucial. Third set, I think the most important in a five-set game. Obviously, you could win 3-0 if that's at the stake. If it's 1-1 in this case, you get the chance to go out and win the match entirely in set four. So this set is massive. So if you're Bayside, you want to keep the momentum rolling along. If you're Vieira, you want to keep your lead growing here through the rest of set number three. And back to serve. Now for Bayside is still Madison Hamilton. Both coaches now have taken a timeout here midway through the set. Last set, they both took two timeouts into point 20. Brooke Pickle, kill attempt there. Bayside keeps it alive. Colton gets it over. Set up by the net. It's low. Dropped over by Reggett. And that's a kill for Shaley Reggett. Vieira wins the timeout. They lead by five. It's 14-9. Back to serve for Vieira is Allie Brown. Both these teams have played deep into their rotations. Brown to serve. And that one goes long. Good call by Bayside to let it go. 14-10. Bears fighting back. 
here in set three. Checking in now for Bayside is going to be Haley Hackett and Camille Moeller. Coming in there for Addison Carter and Jayla Lee heading to the bench. Back to serve for Bayside is going to be Camille Moeller. Officials time here as they drying up the floor here on the near sideline on Bayside side of the floor. Here comes the serve from Moeller. Received by Vieira, but not well as it goes off a beak out of bounds and ace from Moeller. And don't look now, but Bayside has cut it back down to three. It's 14-11. Closest this game's been since it was four to one. In Vieira's favor, now 14-11, exactly 10 points later. There's the serve, bumped up ahead, set outside, beak. Kill attempt tipped, dug out, doesn't matter. Kill for Haley Beak. And a four point lead for the Vieira Hawks. It's 15 11. Checking in the game will be Ella Brand and Taylor Christensen for Vieira. Ella Brand back to serve for Vieira. She led an 8-0 run to start this set at the service line from 1-0 base side to 8-1 Vieira. Her first serve back. Powerful. Base side keeps it alive. Colton blocked up in the net. She'll try it again and gets the kill that time. Angling it away from the blockade of Beak and Reggett. 15-12. Base side cuts it back to a 3. Ansley Shack to serve. And a serve for Shaq. Received by Sosa. Set up by the net. Run up. Reggett with the kill. Blocked out by Bayside. It's 16-12 again. Vieira doing what they got to do. Give a point, get a point, give a point, get a point. They can do that all the way to 25. Olivia Sosa to serve for the Hawks. Sosa serve. Arcs deep. And that's a point for Bayside. And it is 16 to 13. Checking in the game for Bayside is going to be Janae McLinn. Back to serve is going to be Bella Sams. As the Bears cut it back to three again at 16 13. Sams with the serve. Received backside set. Beak with the big kill blocked out. That's the exact same play Beak did to win set one. It's now 17-13, Vieira, and when you get Beak in that corner, I don't know if he can block that kill. And now Beak will head back to serve. It's 17-13. Serving the net for Beak that time, uncharacteristic. Mistake, it's 17-14. Seventeen of fourteen. Vieira leads by three. Serve there from Carter. Set by Turner. Backside. And Beak sends it too far along. Now two back-to-back -back points. Bayside cuts the lead to two. It's 17-15. Vieira leads. They've led this entire set besides 1-0. But Bayside looking to swing the momentum. Addison Carter. Serve, set, receive. Brennan Turner with the big kill. Deflected by McLinn, but not enough to block it. 18-15, Vieira leads by three. Back to serve will be, while well, checking the game, will be Brooke Pickle and Leah Fox for Vieira. And heading to serve will be Leah Fox. Serve coming up for Leah Fox. Drops in, received by Shaq. Backside set. 
And sent down the line by Walters. Quick set up towards the net. Again, it's Brennan Turner. Back-to-back -back kills for Turner. Picking up some heat. Vieira gives two points to Bayside. Then they get two back. It's 19-15. Hawks lead by four. Leah Fox to serve. Fox drops that one in low. It's dug, but it doesn't matter. An ace for Fox. Vieira leads by five. It's 20 to 15. And there's timeout number two in the final one of the set for Nicole Hunt in Bayside. And a huge run for Vieira here to take this lead back and propel it. They lead by five as they look to take a big set three win. But then it's going to be pretty much the most important point for them to show that consistency to go back to back if they win the set to win set four because you you want to avoid set five if you have the opportunity to you don't want to get there um but again Vera obviously has a task at hand right now to win this set first I mean it's still all business on both sidelines here Vera leads by five but no smiles it's all you know poker faces and I mean it's still business to be handled for Bayside obviously they have a job to do to come back from down five. Match so far, one set apiece. At least going to four sets in this one. Possibility of five, as always. 20 to 15, Vieira leads late in set number three. And back to serve is Leah Fox for the Vieira Hawks. Fox serve, drops in, received by Shaq. Backside set, kill attempt by Walters, right to Fox. Set cross court, and dropped over by Pickle. Low set, sent over by McLinn. Now Vera will play it back to the net. Turner blocked by McLinn. As that ball just creeped over the net line, and Janae McLinn buries it. Bayside wins their timeout. Back to serve will be Walters. And it's Jenna Walters to serve for the Bears. Trailing by four, that one. Off the mark, it's 21-16. Hawks lead, they're four points away from a set win. Brennan Turner to serve for the Hawks. Turner serve, drops in, received by Shaq. Bump set backside, Walters. Plays it across, received by Beak. Bump set, cross court. Sent over by Brooke Pickle. Now up ahead, set. Goes over, and it's going to be a double regardless. Vieira leads by six. As they've kind of sneakily creeped this lead right back up to almost their biggest of the set. It's 22-16. Brennan Turner to serve. Back outside at Carter, sets over. Good kill attempt by Jayla Lee on the outside, keeping the Bears alive. Checking back into the game will be Jasmine Colton and Addison Carter. Or not Carter, actually. It's going to be Madison Hamilton, and she will head to serve. 22-17. Hawks lead. Hamilton to serve for Bayside. Down the line. Received by Fox, set short, kill attempt blocked up front by Colton. Back outside, and a kill for Brooke Pickle. Uncontested, 23-17, Vieira two points away from a set win. Back to serve for Vieira. Allie Brown now as the Hawks are two points away from a set win. Brown drops it deep to Hamilton. Set far side, far back. Walters goes and gets it. Backside set. Beak going cross court. Carter was ready for it. Now Ansley Shack brings the pressure. Vieira tips it. Sosa gets the redirect. Now Beak the other way with a light tap. It's received again. Now Shack sends it deep to Fox. Vieira still under a backside set, dropped over by Reggett. Miscommunication, collision, but Bayside gets it over regardless. Set up by the net is low. Reggett pushes it over, redirected. Carter keeps it alive. Walter sends it deep for Fox. Backside set. Illy Beak into the net. Vieira keeps it alive, and it drops for Pickle. 
up off the roof, goes over. That is out of bounds. They give Bayside the they give Bayside the point. Coach Wayne adamant that's out of bounds. And to my knowledge, how it works at gymnasiums like this, if it hits the roof itself, it's been ruled out. And there is the change to call. And it is set point, Vieira Hawks, 24-17. Yeah, Coach Wayne knew that immediately. And I don't know if it would have gone quietly if it stayed that way. Set point for Vieira. Awkward receive, Bayside keeps it alive. Walters, Hamilton gets it over regardless. Sosa, up at the net. Reggett blocked by Colton. Vieira plays it over. Set to the net, Colton! It somehow creeps over. And that one can't be received. Brooke Pickle with the kill. And Vieira takes set three. After losing set two by eight, they win set three by eight. And the Hawks could win the match in four. As they jump ahead, two sets to one over Bayside, 25-17. We'll see in two minutes as we'll take a break once again. Mute the mic and get ready to go to set number four. Hawks win a big set three, 25-17. And we welcome you back to Vieira High School for a big set number four. 
as the Hawks took set three, 25-17 to take a 2-1 set advantage over Bayside. And looking with an opportunity to put it away in four, Bayside looking to force five. Set one went to Vieira by two, set two, Bayside by eight, set three, Vieira by eight. We'll see how set four goes down as Allie Brown will serve it for Vieira. Brown with the serve, it drops in. First touch, sails right back over. Sosa's under it. Set cross court. Brooke Pickle brings the hammer down, but it's too long. 1-0. Bayside leads as they have led all four sets now to start out 1-0 in every single set. Back to serve will be Camille Moeller. Moeller serve. Received by Beak up towards the net. Tipped over. And sent right back by Reggett as it goes back and forth off the net. And Shaley Reggett blocks it down, and it's 1-1 to start set number four. Checking in for Vieira, Taylor Christensen, and Ella Brand. Ella Brand back to serve. I think she's been the best at the service line for either team tonight, leading some big runs, most notably an 8-0 run by Vieira at this exact point last uh, set. When it was 1-1. Quick set and Colton buries it. It's 2-1. Bayside with the lead. Colton, the Presbyterian commit. Colton has broken every hitting and blocking record at Bayside. Mind you, so a name that will go down in Bayside volleyball history when she graduates this season. Gets a big point there. It's 2-1. Set up Beak. Cross court. Run up bump there, sent over by Colton. Now it's Vieira's turn to return. Beak with the left big time block by Colton. And Vieira sends it out, it's 3-1 Bayside. Again, they bring it hot out of the gates in set four, similar to set two. Ansley Shack to serve for Bayside, the former Eagle. That one drops in, dug out. Beak sends it up towards the net. It's blocked by Walters. Vieira's not ready for it. 4-1 Bayside. Back to serve again for Bayside is Ainsley Shack. Ainsley Shack to serve for the Bears. They lead by three. Sosa with the receive. Bump set by Christensen out to Haley Beak. Set near side and a big kill again for Jasmine Colton taking over here in set four. Back to serve again is Shack. 4-0 run for Bayside. They lead it 5-1 here in set four. Shaq short serve into the net. It's 5-2. Vieira gets a point back and the serve back. Brendan Turner checks in the game for Shaley Reggett. Olivia Sosa to serve for Vieira. And Sosa to serve. Dropped in, dug out by Shaq. First touch, free ball right back over the net. Backside set by Brown. Beaks kill attempt, tipped at the net. Shaq gets it up. Carlot back out to Hackett, sends it long. 5-3, Bayside leads. And back to serve again for Vieira will be Olivia Sosa. Sosa, the former Vieira charter Panther. And back to serve is Sosa. 5-3, the lead for Bayside. Sosa dug out by Shaq. Set, cross court. Walters, nice tip into empty space. It's 6-3, Bayside leads. She's done that a lot tonight. Opted for the tip rather than the kill. Or the full, full kill. Tanae McClinn checks in for Bayside. 6-3, Bears lead. It is Jasmine Colton back to serve the Presbyterian commit. That serve is out. No, it is not on the line. Close call. Vera let it ride. 
Not the right call in that scenario. It's 7-3. Bayside leads by four to start set four. Back to Calton to serve for Bayside. They lead by four. Colton serve, dug out by Sosa. Set back side, Beak gets it over the early jump. Set, set back over in two. Backside set again, Haley Beak, same play, same result. That one will go out though for Bayside. Vieira gets a point back at 7-4. As the Hawks continue to fight, back to serve for Vieira will be Haley Beak. Serve received by Shaq. Bump set back in the middle for Shaq. Back out to Sosa. Set cross court. Christensen tipped up at the net and a kill for Taylor Christensen for Vieira. It's 7 5. Hawks back within two. And back to serve again. It's Haley Beak. Beak serve is long. Bayside will get a point back. 8-5. Bears lead early in set number four. Checking in for Bayside will be Addison Carter and Jayla Lee as Carter will head back to serve for the Bears. There's a serve from Carter. Set up in the net. Backside. Brown to Brennan Turner. Gets it over, great dig there in anticipation by Carter, but Shaq with a double. 8-6, Vieira cuts it back to two. Still valiant effort there by Carter and Bayside to try and keep it alive. Leah Fox will head back to service. She checks in along with Brooke Pickle for the Vieira Hawks. Serve from Fox, drops in, dug out by Sams. Backside set, Walters brings the hammer. For the kill, it's Jenna Walters. And it's 9-6 Bayside with a three-point lead. Walters heads back to serve. Jenna Walters after the kill. We'll head to serve now for Bayside. 9-6 Bears with the advantage. Walters dug out by Sosa. Bump set, cross court. Brooke Pickle has to go. And it's going to be Bayside point as they called Pickle out of bounds on the hit. And it's 10 6. Bayside leads again by four with Walters back to serve. And that serve received by Beak. Bump set back. Deep shot from Haley. Beak is long. Beak looking to contest it with the official. As they have a conversation about it. Stays as is. 11-6. Bayside leads by five. And Walters the serve. Just gets over. Beak is under it. Bump set outside, Brooke Pickle drops it over to the sideline to Sam, set by Carter. Near side, Shaq brings the hammer, it's blocked by Brennan Turner. And a big time block for Turner, cuts it back to four, it's 11 to seven. Turner back to serve after the block. As the Hawks trail by four, Turner trying to change that. That serve received by Shaq. First touch, free ball, dropped by Reggett. Now sent back the other way. Vieira argues she hit it over the net. Got to say, they got a compelling case. Does it matter? Walters with the kill for Bayside. Coach Sarah Wayne cannot believe it. Yeah, I was going to say, I think she's got a case to argue there. And just salt in the wound. The Bayside gets a point regardless. 12-7.
Bears lead back to serve is Peyton Carter. Carter received by Sosa. Backside set. Reggett gets it over. Outside Carter. Bumps. Fake set goes over. Now sent over by Haley Beak. Up towards the net. Set. And the kill. Again by Jasmine Colton. Having a heck of a start to her senior season. Timeout Sarah Wayne and Vieira. Bayside leads by 6. 13-7. And again the duality of Vieira. They win set one, lose set two, win set three, trail big early in set four. Well, by that coin, maybe they can go out and win in five, but you don't want to bank on that, and you bank on trends, because in sports, trends are just for paper and for me to tell to you, although they hold no merit. 13-7, Vieira leads, or Bayside leads. Vieira timeout. I said it in set one. This game could easily go five. So far, looking like that could be the case. Again, Vieira playing without Victoria Chen. Once again, she tore her ACL last week. Not in this one and could be out for an extended period of time. And that was expected to be a big, um, big junior play for them this season. And uh, losing her in the preseason, very unfortunate. But the Hawks have looked strong regardless. Back to serve is Peyton Carter out of the timeout. Bears lead by six. Set inside. Reggett blocked up front. All by herself. It's Jasmine Colton with another point. Bayside wins the timeout. They lead by seven. They've doubled up Vieira. It's 14-7. Back to serve again, it's Carter. Peyton Carter. Drops in, received by Sosa. Backside set to Beak, dug out by Carter. The Addy Carter gets it up and over for the kill, Addison Carter. 15-7, Bayside leads by eight. And back to serve for Bayside, Pattis Peyton Carter. Peyton Carter to serve. Bayside leads by eight. Dug out by Sosa. Set cross court for Brooke Pickle down the line. Bayside's there. Peyton Carter outside. Dropped over by Colton. Outside Pickle. Deflected at the net. And a kill for Brooke Pickle. 15-8. Vieira gets a point back. They trail by seven. Back to serve for Vieira is going to be Allie Brown. Vieira trails by eight here in set four. A set in which they could take the match if they can make a comeback. Bump set by Sosa. Backside set. Haley Beak tips it down the line. Great dig by Bayside. It'll go out. Regardless, 15 to nine. As Vieira cuts it back down to six. It is Allie Brown to serve for Vieira. Brown serve, dug out by Carter. Free ball dropped by Vieira. Peyton Carter gets under it again. Walter sends it deep to Leah Fox. Set back side. Haley Peak with the kill for Vieira. They cut it back to five. It's 15-10. Here come the Hawks with some fight. Haley Beeks had a very strong start to her senior season as well up front. The lone returning Hawk from last year's team. Serve for Allie Brown, received back outside. Shaq keeps it alive, Walter sends it over. Now it's Fox, back upside, set. And dropped for another kill by Haley Beek. It's a four point game, 15-11, here come the Hawks. Looking to swoop in, pun intended. And tie this one up. There's the serve again from Allie Brown. An ace for Allie Brown. 
and Vieira's cut it to three. Timeout base side and coach Nicole Hunt as the energy has returned to the Hawks side of the gym. They only trail by three. It's 15-12. At this point, the pressure's on base side. I mean, Vieira could win the match in this set, but base side has the lead looking to force five. The pressure is on them, and I assume that's part of the message Coach Wayne telling the Hawks in that huddle, but that's something base side's going to have to handle here. They came out hot, had a seven-point lead just a moment ago. It was 15-8. Now a 4-0 run from Vieira has cut it back to three. Bayside breaks the huddle. Hawks still getting some coaching in here while they have some time using every second there. I'd like to thank Martinez Construction and Beachway Volleyball Club once again for their sponsorship of the Brevard Sports Network as along, with Nat, along with our title sponsor, Natwick Insurance. Again, keep it tuned to BSN the rest of the week. Got more volleyball to come and high school football and youth football. And I believe cross country as well this weekend possibly. Third touch goes over there for Carter and Bayside. Set up Beak with the run-up kill attempt. Too much power. It sails out. 16-12. Bayside leads by four. And you know Beak won it all of that one. Checking back in for Bayside. Haley Hackett and Camille Moeller. I can tell you, though, there's going to be a lot of player of the year candidates playing on this court in this game tonight. It'll be interesting to see that battle throughout the season. A lot of good players spread out across a lot of teams this year. Not a lot of saturated talent, so to speak. Backside set, Brooke Pickle sails it again. Back to back out of bounds hits, and that ball out of the gym as it rolls into the lobby. 17-12, Bayside grows their lead back to five in a good spot. Back to serve again is Camille Moeller. Moeller to serve, received by Beak. Set cross court, Haley Beak with the kill. What a shot by Beak. It's 17-13. Checking back in for Vieira, Ella Brand, and Taylor Christensen. This game creeping up on 10 o'clock at night. Fans sticking it out. This one still with time to play. 17-13 set four. Bayside leads. That one. Good dig attempt, but it's going to be an ace for Vieira. They cut it back to three. 17-14. Hawks trying to put it away in four. And a serve for Ella Brand. Hawks trail by three late in set number four, 17-14. Ella Brand to serve. She has been exceptional at the service line. As I say that, an unconventional mistake there. And it's 18-14 on the uncharacteristic mistake by Brand at the service line. Back to serve as Ainsley Shack for Bayside. 18-14, Bears lead. Shack serve, drops in, received by Sosa. Back outside, lack of communication. They get it over regardless, set low. Walters drills it, but dug out by Brand. Backside set, Beak clears the way, gets it over. Set cross court, Walters into the net. And Vieira gets a point back, keeps it three again. It's 18-15. Hawks need to get a run going here to try and tie it before they get to 20. It'll be Olivia Sosa to serve. Hawks trail by just three. Olivia Sosa to serve. Arcs down, received by Shaq up towards the net. Set back. And great dig by Sosa. Backside set. Beak gets it over. Up in the air. Set cross court. Ansley Shaq clips the net. Gets over but dug out by Vera. Set by Sosa. Beak is blocked by Walters. 
with the block on Beak. Something they have not been able to do all night. And it's 19-15, Bayside leads by four. Checking in for Bayside now is Janae McGlynn. Back to serve will be Bella Sams. And it's gonna be timeout, Vieira. Their last of the set for Coach Sarah Wayne. Hawks trailing by four late, looking to mount a run. And put this away in four. Bayside again, just looking to pace them, pace themselves out front, point by point. They are six away from forcing a fifth set on their first match of the season. After winning their first set over Vieira since 2007, trying to take their second set over them for the first time since, well, their first set win since tonight. As a big stretch coming up in set four to decide the future of this match. As Bayside leads by four, Vieira has made some runs lately. Bayside looking solid right now. Vieira's out of timeouts now. They trail 19-15. Back to serve for Bayside is Bella Sams. Sams with the serve out of the timeout. Dug out by Sosa. Backside set. Haley Beak drops it in for the kill. Vieira wins the timeout. 19-16. Vieira stays alive once again. And Beak back to serve. Haley Beak serve with the left. Goes long. Gives the point right back to Bayside. It's 20-16. Bears lead. Checking in the game for Bayside will be Addison Carter and Jayla Lee. Addison Carter will go back to serve. Serve from Carter, drops in, dug out by Sosa. Backside set, Beak tips it over, sent right back over by Lee. Set cross court for Christensen down the line. It's out. Bayside leads by five late in set four. Now it's 21 to 16. There's the serve by Carter. Set by Smith. Beak with the kill attempt received by Shaq. Set outside Walters. Tips it. Beak is there. And there's going to be the late whistle, but it is going to be played out from beyond the antenna by Walters. And it is 21-17. And again, Coach Wayne called that immediately. Late whistle, but call made regardless. 21-17, Bayside leads. Leah Fox to serve. Fox. Doesn't come off right off the serve there. It's short, 22-17. Bayside three points away from forcing five sets. Jenna Walters to serve. Just clips the tape. Sosa can't get under it. Ace for Jenna Walters. It's 23-17. Bayside two points away from winning. And forcing set five. Walters to serve. Received by Fox. Bump set by Sosa. Up ahead. Dropped in. And the point for Brooke Pickle and Vieira. They get the serve back. But they trail by five. It's 23-18. Checking in is Shaley Reggett for Olivia Sosa. Back to serve for Vieira is Brennan Turner. Hawks trail by five. That serve drops in, dug out by Sams. Quick set and a big time kill by Janae McLean. Set point for Bayside, looking to force set five versus Vieira.
And Beat gonna go over. The officials are gonna convene here. It was the call on the point was some violation on Vieira. A motion or a hand signal that Coach Wayne is unfamiliar with. I am as well. Uh, looked like a kill, but there was some some discrepancy. The point will be replayed. So whatever the problem was, no longer set point. Twenty five or twenty three eighteen. Brennan Turner to serve for Vieira, looking to get a run going to close out the set. They have to here. It's got to start now. Serve, set, Shaq gets it over. Received by Fox. Backside set, Haley Beak with the kill for Vieira. It is 23-19. And here come the Hawks, staying alive again. It's Brennan Turner to serve. Hawks looking to live to fight another point, 23-19. Serve drops inside Shaq, back outside, bump set. Tipped at the net, and a kill for Jenna Walters. Now set point for Bayside, it's 24-19. Checking in for the Bears, Peyton Carter and Jasmine Colton. Carter to serve for Bayside. Looking to force five sets here at Vieira. What could be their biggest chance to beat the Hawks in their school's history? Carter, serve drops in, dug out by Sosa, bump set, outside, Beak drops it in, dug out by Walters, set, cross court, Shaq down the line, it's out of bounds. And you can tell the Hawks staying alive once again, 24-20 set point again for Bayside. It is Allie Brown to serve for the Hawks. Brown serve, goes deep corner for the ace. Uncontested. Hawks are still here. 24-21. That was a great serve. Allie Brown again. Would love to do it again. Now at this point, if you're Vieira, you're hyper-focused on getting to at least 24. That's how you force overtime. Because you know Bayside's one point away. Backside, Fox played up. Set outside Beak. Tosses it corner. Walters is there. Set up front. Colton blocked by Vieira. Shaq keeps it alive. And it keeps going. 24-22. Vieira staying in it. Timeout. Bayside. And the last timeout from Coach Hunt. And the Hawks are not done yet. All it takes is one point, though, for Bayside to force five. But Vieira looking calm right now. Making the easy plays work. Making some harder ones as well. Vieira trying to get out of here in four sets. Bayside trying to say not so fast. This would be a statement comeback for Vieira if they can make the comeback and close out this set. Bayside looking to fight into five on opening night. Back to serve for Vieira will be Allie Brown once again. It is still set point for Bayside, 24-22 now. At one point it was 24-19, 3-0 run for Vieira. Allie Brown to serve. Into the net. We're going to set number five here at Vieira. 25-22. Bayside takes set four. And it'll be winner take all. First to 15. Set five coming up in just a few minutes. Bayside looking for their first ever win versus Vieira in school history. The Hawks looking to defend the home court. As the captains meet. For the coin toss, Haley Beak.
And welcome you back live to the Brevard Sports Network for set number five here from Vieira High School between the Hawks and the Bayside Bears. And I'm now joined for the fifth set by Alan Zlodzinski. And Alan, you haven't been here for this whole game, but from what you've seen so far, what have been your biggest takeaways? I'm impressed. Look, I knew that Bayside coming in was going to be a great team this year. Two D1 commits on the team. You know, several transfers over from Calvary Chapel. I knew this was a good team. But having lost nine players, seven, you know, seven seniors and two that are concentrating and focusing on other sports, what Vieira is still able to do with a young team with leaders like Haley Beak and Pickle and players like that, it just tells you how well of a coached program this is with Sarah Wayne. Now, look, what Bayside has done is incredible. This is the culmination of years of culture building for head coach Nicole Hunt. So I'm telling you, a win here tonight means the world to this program. In fact, you know, you saw the stat I put up about winning a set. They've never won two sets from Vieira. But, Jackson, you you, you know how I feel about, five, you know, fit, getting to 15 points. To me, first one, 7-8, is usually the one that, that, that pulls that momentum. Yeah, tonight it's been back and forth. Set one, Vieira. Set two, Bayside. Three, Vieira. Four, Bayside. By that coin, does that mean Vieira set for a fifth? Well, all I know is it's all or nothing here. As we get set to roll opening night for volleyball in Brevard. And we got ourselves a thriller. This is the first time for me I have never done two volleyball matches or been on two volleyball matches in the same night. So I, 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 there, there was no way I was missing this tonight. No, no way. I got to say, some way, one way or another, I think the, the Bayside crowd has now outgrown the Vieira crowd as this game's gone on. The they, Bears have stayed to the end of this one. They know what's at stake. This program knows what's at stake in this one. And to start set five, Camille Moeller to serve. She started us out in set one, and she'll start us out in set five. We're underway. Dug out by Vieira. Quick set to the outside. Haley Beak with the left. Sams is under it. Set back side. Sent over by Shaq. Not over into the net. And for the first time all night, Vieira takes the 1-0 lead. Bayside had won the first set, the first point in every set to this point until that, now. That's the thing you have to guard against if you're Bayside. You got to this point by not playing that way right there. Be aggressive. And it's Brennan or Ella Brand at the service line. She's been exceptional, but back-to-back -back serves now into the net for her. And it's 1-1 just like that. At this point, nerves are undoubtedly there, but you've got to break through. Ainsley Shack to serve for Bayside. 1-1. One -one. Shack drops it. Sosa is there. Set up towards the net. Haley Beak kills it. 2-1 Vieira. That's who Vieira's going to lean on this year in so many ways. And, and I know you've seen it here tonight. Haley Beak is an incredible player. And she was definitely a preseason candidate for player of the year for us. And there you see why. And Beak has been here before with Vieira in these five setters. Olivia Sosa to serve. And we got a wet floor. We're going to get fixed up over here on Bayside's side of the court. I mean, if you're Vieira now in the first week, even including preseason, you face Satellite, Merritt Island, and Bayside. You're getting a test of the county here, and they've contended well with all of them. I can't remember what happened with the Satellite match. Who won that? Satellite, satellite in the third did. set. All of them have gone to a make-or-break set, too. Yeah. Sosa to serve for Vieira, the freshman. Hawks lead 2-1. to one. Sosa drops it deep, taken in by Sams, up by the net. Run-up kill by wow. Walters. And that one was teed up for Jenna Walters, and she brings down the hammer, and we're tied at two. The Flagler commit sent that one to Flagler. That one played back now to serve will be the Presbyterian commit, Jasmine Colton. Colton made a big impact tonight for Bayside. We'll see what she can do at the service line. Oh, go deep. 3-2. Vieira takes the lead back as the back-and-forth play has returned shades of first set. Remember, we saw 30 points in that set. 
she has set and broken. I'm sure you've said this all the Bayside records. She, she, she's she's going to be fun to watch this year. Haley Beak to serve. Goes straight to Ainsley Shack. Played out. Backside set. Hackett. Long. Vieira leads by two. It's 4 2 Hawks. And I don't think if Vieira wins this point, I, I don't think it would be a bad thing for Coach Hunt to take a timeout. Because when you only play to 15, you can start to think, feel this thing slip away at three, four point intervals. Start getting that pressure yeah. building as well. The mistakes can be a result. Haley Beak to serve for Vieira. The Hawks lead by two, four, two. Beak served down the line, taken in by Shaq. Set near side, tipped down by Walters. Nice dig. Walters, free ball, buries it. That's the pure definition of a senior leader taking over when a point was needed. 4-3, Vieira leads by one, and the Missouri State commit buries it. And heading to serve for Bayside is Addison Carter. 4-3, Vieira leads by one. Carter serve, drops in for Sosa, set up front, and a kill for Brennan wow. Turner. Vieira leads by two, it's 5-3. You know, just because they lost nine seniors last year, right? They had 81 girls come out and try out for volleyball for three programs. Figure if you put the max, 45, 15 on each team, if you did that, that's 45. Think about how many girls that are good that didn't get to play. Serve from Leah Fox. Hawks lead by two. And an ace for Leah Fox. I, I Hawks have doubled them up. Right it's 6-3. Vieira has doubled them up. At this point, something about odd number sets, and the Hawks just come alive. Leah Fox to serve. Received by Sam. Set near side. Lee. Tip to the net, Sosa is under it. Set up, Brennan Turner sends it deep. It's a kill for Brennan Turner. Timeout, Bayside, 7-3, Vieira leads. And there it is, and I tell you, it's gonna be interesting from here because halfway home are the Vieira Hawks. This is impressive, absolutely impressive, especially when you consider they're playing like a young team tonight. And what I mean by that is win a set, lose a set. Win a set, lose a set, you know. That, that's that's the mark of a young team. Bayside, they're going to get through, you know, th whether they win this or they lose this tonight. They've taken two sets from Vieira. That means a lot, right, because they hadn't won a set from them since 2007. I heard you say, and by the way, thank you so much for reminding everyone that you weren't born the last time that Bayside <laughs> won a set. I just wanted to let you know when I stepped out of the car, I – well, meant to grab my cane and my walker, but I forgot it. But uh, just just to reiterate, this is even if they can come back here and force, you know, a 15-13 loss or whatever, they can build on that moving forward because they can still do a lot of damage this year. And back to serve for Vieira coming out of the timeout. Is Leah Fox. Hawks lead by four. It's seven to three in set number five. Fox serve. Drops in short. Dug out. Set. And a nice dig by oh, Fox and great. Beak. Sosa gets it over and nobody's there. Olivia Sosa with the kill. Vieira leads by five. Eight to three. And again, it's Haley Beak right there with that dig on the floor. Leads to that point. The Hawks are fired up. Leah Fox to serve. Vieira leads by five. And this is where Bayside can't get frustrated. They've got to stay calm. Backside, Walters pushes it. Sosa's there. Set, backdoor, Beak blocked up front by Janae McClinn. With an absolute brick wall of a stop, it's 8-4. That's the definition of vertical. Blocking Beak like that, there was no chance that ball was getting over. Jenna Walters to serve the Missouri, Missouri State commit. It's 8-4. Vieira Sosa is there. Set. Cross court. Pickle. Nice plays it across for the kill. Brooke Pickle puts Vieira back ahead by five. It's 9-4. 
And for Bayside, they've got to communicate right now. Too many of these balls are just dropping with no contest. No talk. Boy, these, they, I tell you, you're right. But man, are both of these teams playing their hearts out. Undoubtedly, Brennan Turner with the serve. Uh -oh. Receive, set, goes over. Yeah. And that is gonna be a double on base side. Vieira, first to 10. You could, you could either see a double or an in the net coming right there. 10, four, good buddy. Vieira leads by six. It's Brennan Turner to serve. Hawks are five points away from a five set win. They go short. Carter plays it back, nobody there again. 11-4, Vieira leads by seven, and there's the final timeout for Bayside. Well, this is do or die now. All or nothing for Bayside, the closest they've ever been to now, the Hawks. I will say this, I've only ever seen one team come back from something like this in a fifth set, and it was Calvary Chapel Middle School that did it against, I believe it was Vieira Charter, who, uh, who I believe it was Vieira Charter, they were playing in the middle school championships, and they were down like, I don't know, it was like 10 to 1, and they came all the way back. And if I'm not mistaken, there are two girls or three girls on that team right now, on that Bayside team that was on that court that day. Well, if it was Vieira Charter, then Olivia Sosa might have been there as well. Who knows? Yeah, yeah right. No, that was four years ago. She wouldn't right. have been there, yeah. 11 to four, Vieira four points away from taking a five set thriller, but the Bears still have some life here. Don't count them out. Brennan Turner to serve, Hawks lead by seven and it's number seven at the service line. Turner back to Sam, set cross court, Ansley Shack sails it. Vieira wins the timeout, they lead by eight, it's 12 to four. At this point, Vieira just has to make no unforced errors and they can try and coast to this win in five. Served by Turner, backside up towards the net, set by Carter, and a kill by McClinn. Bayside stays alive, 12-5. Point by point, it's gotta be point by, I mean, I mean, I know it's such a cliche, Jackson, but literally point by point here. The libero, Bella Sams to serve. Sams over to Fox, up towards the net. Free ball tipped over by Vieira. Bayside responds, set for Shaq towards Leah Fox on the back line. Sosa, backside, Brooke Pickle blocked. Up front, Fox keeps it alive. Haley Beak gets it over. Great effort yeah. by Vieira off the net. What a play by Bayside. It's Colton outside, Brooke Pickle. What a play by Sams to keep it alive. Oh my goodness, play for play, blocked by Colton. Backside Sosa. Colton plays it out to the sideline. Sent over by Walters. Set by the net, tipped over by Reggett. Backside set, Ansley Shack sends one deep. Beak is there, backside, Beak. Forces it over the net. Haley Beak ends the rally. It's 13-5 Hawks lead. Wow. Two points away. Haley Beak again. Highlight after highlight on that rally and Beak finishes it off. And it is Allie Brown to serve for Vieira. Back to Walters, bump set, near side, Shaq blocked, but it gets over. Set, backside for Beak, cross court to Carter. Sams back up to Walters, run up, kill attempt, Beak is there. Fox just clips the banners up top. Colton keeps it alive, Carter drops it over. Here comes a set, outside Brook Pickle down the line, great dig by Walters. Back to Sams going deep, Sosa's there. Set outside, Pickle over to Sams, it's received again, set by Carter. Near side, Shaq is blocked by Vieira. Colton fakes it, sends it over. Huge play by Jasmine Colton. I, I thought Sarah Wayne was gonna take a dive at it there. <laughs> Checking in for baseline. Camille Moeller and Haley Hackett, 13-6. Vieira leads by seven. Moeller to serve. She started this set off serving. Now looking to ignite, 
ignite a spark for Vieira. It's 13-6, Moeller. Serve, drops, receive, bump set, outside, peak, toes the line, what a placement. Match point, Vieira Hawks, 14-6. Perfect placement from Haley Beak. Checking in the game, it is Ella Brand and Taylor Christensen. Ella Brand to serve. Her last two serves have gone into the net, looking to redeem herself here. Match point for Vieira in the fifth set. Brand received by Sams. Base sides under it. And it's sent over by Colton. As they scramble back, Christian send kill. And the Cardiac Hawks are at it again. A fifth set win. And the Vieira Hawks program is alive and well. New faces, doesn't matter. Five set win, Hawks again. 16-0 now all time over Bayside in five sets, 15 to six. You know, we have been here for some pretty big matches, right? District championships, regional championships. We were even here for a final four match. And I gotta tell you, this team tonight, when they won, the way they jumped off the bench, and that is as big as I've ever seen any team ever celebrate a victory. That was a hard-fought win by a young team, by a young program that many people are saying is down this season. That right there shows you, not, not by a long shot, buddy. Yeah, the death of the Hawks is greatly exaggerated, and to anyone who is hoping to see that program slide, I don't think it's going to happen yet or anytime soon no. as the Hawks are still hot. As they win in three sets over the Bayside Bears, 15 to six. Five, right? five sets, five sets yeah. over the Bayside Bears, 15 to six. Right. Bayside gave them all they could handle and then some, but Vieira stays poised, stays strong. And for a lot of new, younger players, that was impressive. Obviously, tonight, our Martinez construction player of the match, I would assume, is Haley, Haley Beak. Beak. Yeah. And so, uh, I tell you, it, it's just an incredible performance by Vieira tonight. And look, on the other side of this equation, you know what? You wanted to put together a program this year that culminated with some wins over some teams that, that you haven't beaten before. Okay, if you're Bayside, you didn't get that win over uh, Vieira tonight. But you know what? You took them to five. You've never done that before. You build from here. And, and, and by the time you get to Merritt Island for the final game of the year in October, maybe, just maybe, you'll have something for them because they have an outstanding team. And I'm here to tell you right now, two of the best players in this county reside, three of the best players in this county reside in Bayside Bear jerseys in Calton and Walters and Moeller. Yeah, and another thing to keep in mind, these two teams now play in the same district. So yeah. you could see a rematch later in the year if you're Bayside. Easily. Keep that in the back of your mind. If you're Vieira, enjoy this one. Take a breath. And move on now in a five-set win, 15-6. to six. like to thank Beachway Volleyball Club once again. Makeup tryouts coming on September 8th. Information on our Facebook page along with Martinez Construction. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. For Alan Zlodzinski, Kayla Brown, the Bayside Bears, the Vieira Hawks, I'm Jackson Robb for the Brevard Sports Network. And thank you for watching the Brevard Sports Network, powered by NatWick Insurance.